written into the Bible or the Quran? Yes, yes. So women, they are seen like the Prophet peace be upon him. He would say, uh, he would say that uh, somebody asked him, who should you love the most I, from the people? So your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your mother. Yeah. Who next? Your father. Yeah, okay. So the woman gets the gold medal, the silver medal, the bronze medal, uh, and yeah. the father comes with a consolation prize. So the roles in Islam is men and women, it's complementary, not competitive. So in, in child rearing, in the family unit, the woman's role is highly uh, significant and she's ahead. However, when it comes to protection, providing, that's the role of the man. Okay. Now, if you're living in a society like the UK, certain people will say, look, what does Islam say? Islam says the man should be provided, the woman should be the one looking up kids. Like that's a traditional role. However, if you're in a situation where it's difficult for you to survive, what do you do? Is the woman allowed to work? We'll say, look, in a situation where there's this or that, the allowance is given. Do you see? So there's a yeah, distinction yeah, yeah. between what does traditionally Islam say? Traditionally, the man is supposed to be the qawwam, the man is supposed to be the leader. Yeah. And the woman is supposed to be the, 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 the one who looks after the home and makes it a conducive environment. Like she has the key yeah, to the womb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's not going to change. However, would people say, look, we're living in the UK, and you know, we need to earn and we need to do this. Of course, that thing would be. However, when it comes to Saudi, you'll see, they will say stuff like, in Saudi, they will say, um, you know, before they said, oh, women aren't allowed to drive and this I and that. I was gonna bring that up. So yeah. First, so no there, there would be a difference. No need to go into the detail, but yeah. first, two questions. First, yes or no, was there basis in religious texts yes. to prevent them from driving? Yes. And B, now that they are allowed to drive, is that saying that that's, that's one of the rules which is no longer appropriate for our time? Not necessarily, because the things that will be categorical in Islam yeah. uh, will be the beliefs. Okay. Yeah. When it comes to how to, uh, for example, one God, you're not going to get a Muslim coming and say there's two gods yeah. or the five prayers. You know Muslims are going to say no, there's six prayers. So was, was the reason women couldn't drive one of these categories? This, this was an interpretive interpretative practice that was implemented by the kingdom which later they deemed you know what it's not necessarily conducive okay. yeah so that's not something stipulated by islam okay. but it falls within the gender roles that look it's not befitting okay, because okay. the dz yeah, yeah, yeah. so th so that just circles back to my point that there's like with with things that because you know like gender roles were much stronger in in france and the uk decades ago yeah yeah in the same way places that are mostly muslim are making the same realizations that this or that and they're contextualizing it and it's interpret in interpretation based and when i was asking is there things that have been changed societally in france and uk that muslim countries see it positives that to you would be one of the examples that has been taken on by a muslim country that's saudi arabia and that was their interpretation again it depends on which morality a person is coming from if a person is coming with the morality that oh you know freedom and you know a harm principle and this and that i mean that that then we're measuring at two different yardsticks if the measurement is done with you know um, the family unit if the measurement is done when it comes to preventing vice within the community, i.e. adultery would do that. I mean, I would argue, based on the morality of Islam, the reason, one of the reasons we put high emphasis on the family unit is because of the consequences that comes from promiscuity and immorality, what it can affect, the, it, the effects it can have on the child, on the mother, the father, yeah. on the relationship, the trauma that comes with it. So. Um, again, that's why it would like if we'd come, if you had more time, we would have had a more kind of organized kind of discussion. That yeah. first, yeah. Well, I've gotten, I've gotten what I wanted from the discussion, which yeah, is like no, understanding no, the context, yeah, yeah. the way people. That's why think I didn't want to speak at you. I was like, look, I really appreciate yeah, yeah. it. No, just, no, no, my pleasure, bro. Name my name is Zishan. Zishan, nice. Yeah. So I have nice a YouTube you. channel called Smile to Jannah. Jannah is Jannah. Jannah is paradise in Arabic. Okay. So J A J A N N A H. Okay, it's not a Jannah. Yeah. Okay.
Well, thank you very much. No, my pleasure. My questions. No, and, my pleasure, uh, Dorian. Useful. Yeah, no, thank no. You. Enjoy yourself. Oh, be careful. Enjoy yourself in was it Dubai? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I take care. All take right. Care. Yeah, thank take you. care. Bye. And uh, bro, Dorian, Dorian, just. Uh, I think the brother left this for you. Just a bit of literature, just a bit of reading. Maybe can help you in your travels in the English language. So one is a Quran, okay, okay, and nice. one is just like. I might. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it written in prose or is it understandable? Uh, this one, is it the Sahih International? No, no, this is going to be uh, understandable. Yeah, but it's it's written, under, it's not going to be thy, thou, yeah, it's exactly. understandable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. My pleasure, because sometimes if you go into some shop, it costs like five, ten pounds, and you get in for free. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. take care, my brother. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Yeah. Is um, one of the brothers. Assalamualaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. One of the brothers, like uh, he said, what's your camera? His uh